In Skyblock, a seasoned player's inventory is often filled to the brim. You've got the weapons, the utility, the talismans, and then the hose? As surprising as it may be, keeping hose in the inventory actually grants stat buffs. They are part of a subclass of items I like to call inventory talismans. And if you go back in time far enough, these items get extremely interesting. Here is my definition of inventory talismans. They are not classified as accessories by the game. They give stat buffs, even if not held, as long as they are in your inventory. And they stack with other items of the same or similar kind. Although spamming inventory talismans, as in the case of hoes, has been a fairly recent strategy, the origins are over a year old. The first inventory talisman to exist was the Shredder. This item has an ability which gains damage when fish are caught using it. Sometime in early 2020, the Shredder's ability worked while it was simply in your inventory, adding damage to a hidden damage stat. When stacked enough, people could get insane amounts of damage for that point in time. Side note, this is different from the Shredder bug I mentioned in my video about the highest critical hit. That bug involved the Shredder just freaking the hell out and dealing millions of damage for no apparent reason. In May of 2020, the Shredder stacking bug was fixed, and for a long time, no inventory talismans existed in the game. On October 20th, 2020, the Blacksmith City project was completed and added new reforged stones, one of which was the Blessed Fruit. When applied, it gave the blessed reforge to hoes, and soon after, people realized you could gain permanent speed buffs if a blessed hoe was in your inventory. The hoes don't have to be unique ones to stack, so although it wouldn't be very price efficient, you could get 10 mythic potato hoes and they would each give speed. They do, however, have to be hoes, so things like the pumpkin dicer don't work, even though they can be reforged to blessed. This particular inventory talisman type proved to be extremely useful, especially during the Warden Helmet meta and Dungeon meta, and also just getting speed up at all times. In fact, it is still in use at the time I am making this video, nearly a year later. On October 17th, the very first special mayor was introduced, Scorpius. Because he had a pink name, he won his election in a landslide, and three days later, the same day of the Blacksmith City project, Scorpius became mayor. This guy single-handedly lowered the price of nearly everything in the game by as much as 50%, because his new darker auctions removed loads of money from the economy. The darker auctions also added a new enchantment, Vicious. It gave Ferocity, a new stat, added at the same time as Scorpius. Although nobody knew it at the time, Vicious could be added to nearly everything in the game that can support enchantments. On December 4th, 2020, the enchanting overhaul update rolls out. Along with an entirely remade enchanting system and skill, this update added the enchanting guide feature, which showed all enchantments, how to get them, what they did, and what items they could be put on. While exploring this guide, people noticed something odd. Vicious could be applied on not just weapons, but wands, axes, pickaxes, and shovels of all things. Eventually, someone put Vicious on a healing wand just for fun, realized you could gain its ferocity even without holding it in your hands, and gradually the information leaked out to the public. Vicious stacking, as it came to be called, granted massive damage boosts in the form of ferocity to those who could afford the price, and sacrifice the inventory space. Just the day before the enchanting overhaul, a new item called the Magic Milk Bucket was added. You could get it from milking the cow in the farm area of the hub. And the item said it gave plus 100 health, plus 70 defense, and came with a dad joke on the side. Not long after, people realized this was another inventory talisman. I personally used this, and I was able to flex my 5000 health in Hub 1. Magic milk buckets were fixed the same day they were introduced, and mine have been rotting in the chest ever since. Fast forward a bit to January 15th, 2021 the day the Dwarven Mines was introduced. Aside from mining content, several new player stats were added. One of them was mining speed, which controlled, well, your mining speed. This meant that everything which increased vanilla mining speed, such as the efficiency enchantment, had to be adapted. But this rework was not perfect, because just a few days later, players discovered that by putting efficiency on shears and putting the shears in your inventory, you could gain mining speed. 
and for a few hours, people could get mining speeds in the tens of thousands. Fast forward a bit more to March 31st, 2021, when the fourth unique and fifth overall special mayor, Dante, was introduced. Again, because this guy had a pink name, people voted him into office even with the admin saying not to. After his election, a whole chain of events happens ending with Technoblade becoming the mayor of Skyblock and the addition of an item called Farming for Dummies. It's essentially a hot potato book for hoes, and it grants farming fortune. Quite a while later, it became known that the Farming for Dummies stat buff made hoes an inventory talisman. This became such a popular strategy that a once 50k item is now worth 2 million coins. And this still works today. You'll see rookie hoes with Farming for Dummies on them in nearly every Netherworld foot farmer's inventory. And now for our most recent inventory talisman, Flint Arrows. When the Weaponsmith City project was made open for contributions, all normal arrows became Flint Arrows which gave plus 1 damage to bow shots, but it also gave plus 1 damage to, well, everything. Each stack of this item, either in your inventory or quiver, would grant plus 1 base damage regardless of the weapon you were holding. On August 17th, 2021, flint arrows were reverted to normal arrows as part of a patch, and for now, this inventory talisman is no more. Ah oh, shit, here we go again.